Hi, we're here today with Subhash Sakurikar of Tata Consultancy Services. Welcome. Thank you. It's glad to be at this forum. Oh, you're quite welcome. So uh, you've been involved in uh, industrial space manufacturing for a long time, 25 years. Uh, could you talk a little bit about the impact of IoT on the industrial sectors? Yeah, the IoT has uh, a big impact. In fact, uh, when the products were, I would say, non-IoTized versus today they are, if I may use the term IoTized, with the advent of the connected products, uh, it's, it's a whole a whole shift that has happened. The products are not only connected, but they are also intelligent today. Uh, they tell to the, the customers about their usage. They tell to the manufacturers about how they are performing, uh, the operating conditions, so on and so forth. And and that gives the addition of a lot of services that goes along with the product bundling and thus adds value to the uh, manufacturer as well as the, the product customers. So in the, in the past, um, you know, IT, OT, the IT people didn't get along all that well with the OT people and operating people, et cetera. Um, and that's changing. In the conference for t this week, we're talking a lot about the convergence of IT and OT. Uh, could you talk about how that's impacted your so service delivery model? Right. So uh, I think as long as we keep up, uh, keep coming up with new and new acronyms, I think this is going to add more complexity. So I'll just keep it simple that yes, IT, OT, uh, convergence. The one shift that I'm seeing over the years is a lot of talk in the past has been about the products and technologies. And this year, as we see, it's all about platforms. So which means that we are elevating to one level of integrations deriving more value uh, out of it. So there are IoT platforms, there are analytics platforms, there are ERP platforms, and then everybody's uh, talking about the platform's play. And, and that is the major shift which is happening, uh, both for the manufacturers and also for the services, uh, service providers. Wow. Um, you've been involved in the industry for a long time. Uh, there's a lot of technologies. I mean, never in my career have I seen so many technologies impacting the industrial sector at the same time. You could go from cloud, software as a service, networking, uh, apps on the plant floor, uh, IoT, all kinds of stuff. Um, what do you see as the primary changes that have occurred over the past couple of years? Right, so I think, as they say for human being, right, no one is smarter than the, all of us, right? So I think it stands true for the machines as well. There is no one machine is smarter than the group of machines that are working together. And I think that smartness is added by the Internet of Things. So you, you not only analyze one machine, but you work in tandem with the, with the product, with the manufacturing, and uh, the whole, whole set of things. And that's where the real value is, uh, which we are seeing today. This term digital transformation is coming up a lot too. And uh, in a way it's become an overused term without a lot of, uh, of meaning behind it, it, it uh, to the point where I think it's starting to confuse some people, uh, particularly when it relates to IoT platforms. Can you, can you talk about some application examples or some specifics or about what digital transformation means to uh, Tata Consultancy Services? Right. So I think uh, it's, a, it's really a great question. The, the first is the, what it means to us as a service provider and what it means to the, the manufacturers as well. I think one of the interesting examples that I uh, keep coming across, and it's, it's a challenge and the opportunity both is on the digital twin. So you, you make a near replica of a physical product. Uh, you integrate with uh, a lot of, right from the birth of the product, which is actually, we call it as a design bomb, right? So you have the, the traceability from the design bomb to the manufacturing, how it was manufactured to how it was sold and configured and how it was commissioned in the industrial space, for example, and then how is it being used? So that is the as in, as in use or as in flight bombs. And then you superimpose with these in the operating conditions of uh, uh, the product and you make a digital replica of the, uh, of the physical product and do a lot of analytics around it. So I think that's something which excites me 
uh, the most as the prominent example of the digital transformation. Uh, it's both for the manufacturers and we as service providers obviously have to work a lot on the uh, on enabling this, right? So what are the algorithms, what are the analytics that you can provide uh, to, to enable the digital twins, right? And of course, there are additional elements of traceability through the digital threads. So as you rightly said, this digital transformation means a number of things to them. But I think that is one piece which excites me the most to work on with, with my clients there. Neat, neat. Uh, a lot of the conversation here and, and at the forum this week has been around uh, making the product and operate, uh, optimizing the manufacturing processes, uh, improving design. Uh, not uh, much around the service after the sale. Uh, could you fill us in? Because I know that's been impacted also. Could you talk a little bit about the, the service model for manufacturers? Right, absolutely. I think my, my work as the customer experience has been all about in the customer experience after the, after sales service. So I look at IoT from a, a majority of the time from the lens of what happens when the product is in the hands of customers. So uh, we, we, we use the term servitization, which is primarily talking about uh, the, the extreme end, uh, selling the products as a service. So, but in between, there are various stages. Today, you sold the products in the good old days. It was the responsibility of the dealers and distributors to take care of the services, right? It's no more. The, the product, once you give, you are responsible for not only maintaining it, but also enhancing the life of it through various service means uh, that may be remanufacturing, condition monitoring, and also the ability to offer the product bundled with the variety of contracts. The IoT uh, in particular helps in servitization. Today you are able to have uh, the contracts which are signed for performance, right? So you have the contracts which are signed for uh, outcomes and not only the, the product performance alone, right? So you have the ability to configure the and bundle the products and service. And as I said, at the extreme level of servitization is you actually hand over the usage and the outcome uh, of the product and not the product. So the companies are able to shift from pure product to a pure servitized company. So that's the spectrum uh, of the journey that is being enabled through, uh, through IoT. Wow, the entire life cycle. This has been very interesting. Thank you very much for enlightening us in this area. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We've been talking with Sabas Sakarikar of Tata Consulting Services. Thank you for listening.